Hi everyone, uh, another video. Uh, it's Saturday and I'm very, very excited about this. Um, another unboxing. Um, but this, this is really something special. Everything I've put on video for unboxing, I, I think special. Um, but this really is um, a very, very unique piece. Uh, I'm so excited I've actually got a Jack Daniels and Coke so here yeah, to celebrate the, the opening. So yeah. Here we go. I've actually also got another delivery, but that can uh, that can wait. So this is the biggie. This is something uh, which many, many, many collectors a lot longer than me. I've actually been collecting for just over three years. Um, and a lot of collectors would love to own something like this. I feel very privileged um, that I managed to get this. Um, I saw it about three months ago. The seller kindly agreed to a payment plan, which is pretty much what most people do for big items, unless you're a millionaire, and uh, I'm certainly not that, and not many of us are. Anyway, I'll stop waffling, and I need to be very careful with this, because this is something I really don't want to cut. Um, in my last video, the early bird certificate was very precious. Um, but this is even even more uh, So let's just be careful And let's get into it. You can probably guess or a lot of people probably guess what it is Looking by the shape. It's not a figure again So no figure if you're looking at for figures you'd be disappointed, but the next box the next delivery is a figure Well, it's actually four I think So here we go. This this is something I'm really really as I say, honoured to have in my collection. I believe there's about five um, worldwide in existence of this. So, um, yeah, I can't really believe I've got it actually. Um, so, we'll take the card off. And there you can just see Luke Skywalker looking into the sunset. So, it's a Luke Skywalker farm boy, as he gets called. I, I call him Luke farm boy, I'm guilty of it. A lot of collectors don't like that, but it's the name that stuck. Um, it's a Luke farm boy Skywalker card back. Now, I've got a few of these, but nothing as valuable and rare as what this is. Uh, wow. So... There we go. This is a really um, valuable, scarce bit of Star Wars vintage um, history. This is the Spanish version. Now, POC or PPB, two different factories, but POC, POC was the first Spanish factory, which this, I believe, was carded for Luke Skywalker Pock figure, um, and then the, the three factories merged and they became PPB, and then they made their own figures. A lot of the Poch figures, uh, Pock figures were Kenner and just used different paints. PPB then made their own figures. Now, I believe this was the Luke Farmboy Pock, the early release was on this card. Now, what makes this card even more scarce is because it's got the offer, it's got the one figure offer. Um, see reverse for, for details uh, obviously in Spanish um, Imperio uh, now my Spanish is dreadful so I'm not even going to say it but it's, it's, it's Empire Strikes Back in Spanish you're going to see that and Luke Caminaseos uh, which is really really wrong and that of course is Luke Farmboy in Spanish sorry Luke Skywalker uh, the Skywalker in Spanish so it really is a very special piece. I'm going to take it out of this little bag. I've actually got um, a case for it. So that would be going in there. Here we go. And then on the back, you can see all the POC figures that were released. Um, it's a 41 back. Um, 
so yeah, I'm actually quite lost for words because it's such a rare piece. I'm very, very humbled uh, to have this. Um, you can actually hear the rain coming down, if you're wondering what the noise is. Um, so yeah, it's it's certainly not rainy in here. It's it's like summer in here. I'm absolutely delighted to have it. And that will go pride of place with my Luke Fineboy um, focus. I've actually got some pop Luke Farm Boys. I've got two. That's the brown haired version um, with his white neck. So that's a, an error, that one. And I have the, the standard blonde uh, POC. So the, the grail of all the Luke Farm Boy figures is the Luke Farm Boy PPB, which was obviously made in Spain. Unlike these, which were Kenner figures but repainted, but you can see when you compare it to the standard Kenner farm boys, you see a huge difference. The, the paint on the pants, the hands, um, and the hair is, is very is very noticeable. Um, so yeah, so I'm delighted to add that alongside it. I, I believe there's only five worldwide. I was told of this with the actual offer on. Uh, there there is the card with the pox symbol there. Without this. Still a very rare card, but I believe with this on, it's it's very, very scarce. So, wow, I own it. So I'm very, 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 very happy. Here we go. Cheers. So, I could leave it there, but I've got another box. So I might as well open it. Nothing is valuable. Nothing maybe is exciting, but it's still a nice delivery that I'm going to get here. Uh, this came from... Germany, um, a collector that I know, who uh, very kindly finds me pieces, what I think, what he thinks I might like, he knows what kind of things I like, um, aside from Luke Farnboy and Luke Bespin, which are my main focuses, um, I do like factory errors um, and other stock figures, these are factory errors. Uh, so, yeah, it was very nice of him to offer in my way. Um, I think like any any collecting hobby, um, sometimes it helps, you know, when, you, when you're known or what people know you like. And it's a very, very, it's a great community, Star Wars. Everyone helps each other out. We all know what each other, we've all got different collections. And that's the great thing about Star Wars. No two collections are the same. Everyone's collections are different. Everyone has different focuses um, and, and different passions. Um, and that's the great thing, you know, you'll see 50 collections and everyone is different. And everyone has got something different in the collection to the next person. Um, as I say, my, my, my focuses are on uh, two particular figures, although I do also love <coughs> collecting PPB variants, but variants, Lily Leddy, uh, which are the Mexican um, manufacturer, um, Meccano, which is the French. It never ends, it never ends. And me opening this box is never ending as well. But there we go, we've got in it. So you won't have to hear me waffling for another five minutes. Ah, what's that? I'm not sure. I won't throw it away, that's just paper. Here we go. Hmm. Star Wars vintage goodness. So, let's see what's in the box. Ooh, now that is a Han Bespin figure. Now these are all Kenners, as far as I'm aware. Now he's, he's, he's seen better days, part of him, but what he has got is his unpainted torso. So that, as I say, is a factory error. Um, uh, he would normally have a coloured belt and this would be a white uh, shirt. So that's that's a great figure to add to my factory errors. And it is genuine, it's not been stripped. It's not been um, scraped or bleached. You can tell, you, you do tend to, I mean, even now I'm learning, but you, you do in time get to see, um, <coughs> excuse me, you do get to see the, the genuine errors and the ones which aren't. Um, I had one this week which was meant to be unpainted, but it, it had been. It was quite obvious, actually. 
Um, but and then I know the guy who sells me this oh, sold me these figures, and you know he, he wouldn't sell them if he didn't think if he didn't think they're genuine. So uh, there's a lot of trust involved. Um, sometimes that trust gets abused by some, but generally, you know, most people do look out for each other in the Star Wars collecting community. Now that's a Luke X-wing pilot. Uh, you would say, yeah, pretty standard, pretty standard pilot, bit of, bit of wear on him, but you've got the em the emblems, say that right, on the top. Now they are normally more forward than that, much more forward. I should have got an example to show you, but see that the, the, they've been printed much further back, so it's you wouldn't maybe notice it, but when you get it next to another one, so that that is a an error in that the emblems have been printed um, not where they're meant to be. They're actually further back on the helmet. So that's a great one as well. Two more. Um, I love I love just the unique thing about factory errors. You know, it's it's quite a quirky little thing I've got of, uh, of figures. Uh, and that's quite an obvious one. There's Hammerhead. But as you can see, he's only got one eye. The other one's all white. So that's a quite an obvious factory error. I've got a few hammerheads actually. One with missing both eyes, one where the eyes are further up. Um, seems to be quite a common uh, error with those. But yeah, so that's a yeah, a great one. That the white-eyed hammer head, and we've got one more, and he is an attack driver. Now then, yep. Pretty standard looking at a driver. What's the factory error? Hmm. Back on the helmet again. And as you can see there, he's got his two emblems where they should be, but I'm not sure if you just pick it up there. There's one printed on the top as well. So again, very, very clear that it's a factory error. There's nothing you can do with that. I mean, when there's paint loss, you've got to be careful because it could be stripped and what have you. But these, these where they're, the emblems about you know this this is genuine. There's no way you can scam that. They've been printed uh, in the wrong part of the helmet, and there's an extra one there printed. So yeah, there's no debate in that. Isn't a factory error. So yeah, nice little delivery there. Four factory errors to go with the ones I've got. Um, a very very special delivery today was my card back. Um, my my Spanish POC, uh, Luke Farm Boy. Um, 41 back um, card and I'm absolutely delighted to be able to say it's mine very 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 privileged to have it um, and as I say I'll, I'll be treasuring that for a long time and when I've got it on display with my Luke Farm Boys um, collection I'll do a, another video okay I'm gonna carry on celebrating with my uh, Pepsi and uh, Jack Daniels thanks for watching till next time Please like, please subscribe. Bye for now.